Education Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohammed has summoned the chairman of all 31 universities and colleges to a crisis meeting in the latest efforts to resolve the lecturer strike. And as Makori Ongech reports, the strike has caused confusion and disrupted the academic life of the country's nearly 500,000 university students. For the sixth week in a row, the standoff between the lecturers and the government over the implementation of the 2017-2021 collective bargaining agreement has completely paralyzed learning in 31 public universities. We want them to act upon this matter or else they allow students to do what they can do. And you know, students can do anything that comes across their minds. We cannot fight these lecturers. We cannot say that they don't have a right. You are the ones who promised them that they will make sure that the CBA is signed. So right now, you cannot come and play with them a game that is affecting our education. The strike has attracted concerns from the Kenya Medical Practitioners and Dentist Union. According to KMPDU Treasurer Daisy Corill, a number of services in major teaching and referral hospitals in the country have been crippled due to the absence of medical students who help in minor roles under the care of their supervisors. This doctors currently are unable to continue offering those services because the lecturers are on strike and they are not available to offer them guidance. And so when that happens, then you realize that uh, the, the bigger, like a larger part of the workforce is not available at the hospital. So the hospital has had to scale down the services that it's offering. And we're only offering the emergency services and minimal services uh, in the clinics because now we have to rely on the doctors who are employed by the hospital to do all the work that would have been done by all the other doctors, the registrars, plus the lecturers in the university. Last week, Education Cabinet Secretary Ambassador Mina Mohammed ordered the lecturers to go back to class, saying they were acting contrary to the court order. <laughs> Ahead of the meeting between the Minister of Education and the chairpersons of various university boards that is expected to take place tomorrow, the Inter-Public University Council Consultative Forum has already warned that the striking dons risk being sacked if they fail to report to work tomorrow. On their part, the various unions representing the lecturers have insisted that the strike will continue until the government implements the 2017-2021 CBA. Makorongechi for Sunday Live.